what is doing what i've been searching for like good cream highlighter and i think those was nos those was nos nos so like the shimmers are not 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 Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am Akanksha. So today we are getting back to our basics. Uh, we I hope you like makeup videos because I feel like honestly now at the place like you know YouTube and internet is I think everybody just wants to watch uh, vlogs. But I wanted to do like a good old uh, makeup video, something nice, something slow, like you know a slow paced video. So here it is. I have a lot of new makeup which I want. to try which i've never tried before i have um masaba's collection i have verified ala anam's collection i have really i have like a lot of different uh, stuff some some stuff i've bought some stuff or uh, most of the stuff is actually pr i'm grateful okay so let's just relax sit back and try some makeup Okay, monsoon and my hair are not friends. So, like my hair is going to like it is it 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 is what it is. Okay, that is it literally. Okay, starting off. Um, now this is not really makeup, but I did get this in the PR package. This is basically Love Child, uh, by Masaba's. face on here she glows brightening face mist with niacinamide and alpha arbutin i did check uh, the ingredients and there's nothing like oils or like uh, you know essential oils or any oils so as long as it does not have oils or anything which is heavy i'm fine with it it seems like a normal um mist so i'm just going to spritz that because it's been a while i anyways uh, moisturized my face You laugh if I tell what it smells like. I don't really want to, but it smells like herbs. <laughs> what is this smell? What is this made of? It does have fragrance in it. I don't know. It smells very like you know earthy, Ayurvedic kind of uh, smell. It's that surprising because it already has fragrance in it. Like especially when you add like an additional fragrance, you tend to usually make it like you know something soothing or like something calm and stuff like that. So it's um. knew that it actually still smells like herbs so anyway just spritz my face for foundation i have nothing uh, no new foundation so i'm simply going to go ahead and use my uh, fit me and be right back all this while i used to use 310 as my foundation shade and it always used to end up looking a little lighter so i recently got uh, 332 now 330 of maybelline is again um darker but again 332 matches me perfect like 330 is way too warm in orange but 332 again works for my skin i've been using the shade and you can see it's a perfect match and suits me really well next up i have concealer and for concealer i have the mac nc38 studio skin uh 24 hour smooth wear concealer now i love 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 the studio skin foundation okay it's one of my favorites it's one of my go to i use it on like you know everyday basis and i really love that one but i don't know why i never ever tried their uh concealer. concealer so i'm excited to see how this works if it this uh, is some a concealer i like then i think that will be like a beautiful combination foundation and concealer together i'm an nc38 of course like nc40 is my foundation shade so i'm going a little lighter uh, with the concealer here i think this is way too light uh, but let's blend and see how it's going to perform definitely light i mean it's it's good for some like a look which i want like extremely bright bright under eye but not so much probably for like um you know everyday makeup look and like but then i just went like one shade down i'm nc40 generally i told you right so nc38 is like so light i don't know if uh, um like nc38 in the foundation is actually a little darker so they you know put this i don't know i think it's like I'll have to figure it out if I go to the store and like you know swatch and stuff. But yeah, it blended beautifully. It does not look that off. I anyways you know kind of wear like a bright concealer, um, a little more brighter than what I like. But it blended beautifully. Oh my god! One minute I've been complaining about the shade that I did not even take a look at the finish. Not bad, you guys. Not bad at all. It blended very beautifully. Like since the past one week, at least I've been having this a lot of weird texture under my eye, and like no matter the, my best of concealers, also have been getting patchy there and clingy. But this one, 
did a good job next we have blushes and i have like these five uh, new blushes from ilana organics so it's basically they have this uh, tint they also resend this beet tint which they have which i really like but they've launched uh, these cream blushes as well which i never really tried so i wanted to today i am going to use this in five shades uh, the swatches will be right here rosy nude crystal mauve galaxy plum flamingo pink peachy peach okay so one thing i noticed is uh, can you see this uh, the silver thing which you have on top of the blush so all these are supposed to have it i did not realize like the first four, four things i've swatched did not have this cover on top they just directly uh, were like this but this one again has uh, uh, this silver ceiling it's obviously like well, most of these tube things have the ceilings right so i was like once i opened i was surprised it did not have so i thought maybe like you know none of them have but the last one has um so i don't know what is the issue there but just thought i'll mention taking a little bit on the back of my hand i do this with all the blushes or any cream products i use i take it on the back of my hand i first like you know warm it up here and then i go ahead and apply it on my face this way that I have a lot of control of how much, you know, it smells so sweet. Blush feels very wet, like even when you're applying it, it has this very wet sensation. It's not, uh, which basically feels like, you know, you're using a beauty blender to apply uh, your blush, not like a, even though I'm using a you know brush i feel that wetness there i'm not really sure how i feel about it i'm not really understanding if it's actually blending properly if it's kind of like you know sitting on the skin like look at this is not how my blush generally looks right like at least i hope not <laughs> but yeah let me just try to like you know blend it with the foundation brush a little bit blend it into the skin really well like i can't see it sitting on my uh, skin or anything but it's just that the way it's like looking like in person it's just that maybe it's the color or like the way i applied it i'm not really sure next time i'll actually use a sponge and see okay next moving on i also have a ilana golden hour taupe cream i have in champagne and i have in gold i think i'm going to go ahead and use gold for today see again this one also has does not have that uh, silver uh, thing on top even this one does not have so I, I don't know the consistency of this i don't know it's, it's supposed to be there i think it's supposed to be there because one of them had it just going to take my finger take a little bit of product and apply i don't know how blinding or how it's going to be so i'm just going to lightly i'm saying lightly after i went ahead and added like a shit ton of stuff on my face haha <laughs> wow a kang shock this one is nice it blended into the skin so beautifully like in person now you can't really tell that you know i applied like a strobe cream or like a highlighter on my skin blended beautifully into the skin but once i turn like this like look at that glow it's not like i'm telling you this is one of the best like i can't see the product but it's serving its purpose like really nice i love this strobe cream i've been so much into like cream blushes cream contours and etc cream bronzers i've been searching for like good cream highlighter and i think this was nice this was nice nice been a while that i applied my concealer right i had but like look at it it did not crease much like it did crease a little bit I and mean, it's kind of obvious because i did not set it but it still did not crease as much and i think and i think i think the um, concealer did oxidize a little bit if you can see because so much like it was so vibrant right before now it's a little toned down next up i have a couple of new launches from verified like it's not new new i think they launched months ago but i just never got around to like trying them we have two blushes one is this basically this is their verified soft focus buildable blush in the shade ibis rose and the other one is in camellia rose and finally we have a highlighter which is their golden glow highlighter in citrine so i'm going to try the blush and i'm going to try camellia rose i'm going to use the same blush brush which i always use i am just going to build 
up quite pigmented and does complement this shade I applied earlier. Look at me, I'm saying it's quite pigmented and I'm applying it so much. <laughs> I'm already like filled with blush with that pink, that Ilana one. And now I just look like a joker. Look at that pink. What is this Akanksha? I'm just taking my like, you know, powder brush and kind of blending it away a little i did a mistake i probably should have tried the blush by itself because now i don't know which is doing what i like the way it blended it's not sitting on the skin again very easy to blend and quite pigmented as well um but like you know the ilana on the bottom what is doing what okay for eyes i'm going in with this makeup revolution integrity wild animal palette i got this one ages ago you guys and and but i don't know i never just like never um you know tried it look at how vibrant the colors are i'm not really sure if i want to like do such vibrant colors on my eyes right now but um this is the only new eye palette I have. Looks so cool. What do I do? I just don't want it to like look so off with my outfit. Just watching like few vibrant ones to actually see if they pay off. Not bad. Like they don't have any transition shades or like anything. Like I'm not, how am I supposed to like blend it out with? Like, you know, I'm so used to like having these transition shades in my pockets. I think we have just gone to make this work somehow. Like I added such a pink blush, now I'm going with orange eyeshadow. Akanksha is so smart, a smart, but like that blended beautifully. I literally did not have to like make any effort to blend that whatsoever. Like look at how beautiful that color is. Next I'm picking up this shade. I don't know, like nothing syncs with each other here. Just trying to make things work, okay? Don't judge me. So like the shimmers are not, not, not. Not, not, not. <laughs> not exactly that. Shimmery, like it's very subtle, but the pigment is there though. But it's still not like as, you know, shimmery or glittery. If like you're expecting like a bright as shimmer palette then this is not a, you know these uh you get this cheap extremely cheap eyeshadow sometimes and uh, it's like it only has shimmer uh like shades but then once you apply it like it's neither shimmer nor matte so you can use it as everything like this is the texture for it like the quality is not cheap that's not what i'm saying but like the texture is like that you can like dual purpose um this one not bad right that's what i'm going to tell myself that's nice. I like it. I like it. Even if though like there's like that warmth in the eye, it actually looks really pretty. It kind of goes with my outfit as well. And I'm really happy about that. Next, I have these really cute uh, water activated liners from a brand called Woohoo. And I have two shades. I have one in pink and one is in blue. But I think I want to go with pink because obviously like that's the entire theme here i really like how this is looking by itself as well but uh, i mean we are trying stuff so might as well try this one too the wings are not symmetrical but this is where we are at um i'm not really sure like why the camera is not picking up the color as much but in real life you can actually see it very well and it's a little different than what it looks in the pan obviously like the skin tone the you know base and all matters but this is where we are at pretty decent uh works like most of the water activated liners i've uh, you know tried So this one, this is in the shade Citrine, looks very beautiful, it's 
I think something which will exactly suit my complexion. Now I know I did apply the strobe cream underneath, but like once I set it, it kind of dimmed down. So that's the thing with like cream highlighter, especially like I can't not set my face because of course I have like you know oily skin. So I just wanted to like you know try how it is and like on a minimal makeup days I kind of can try. But now I'm just going to go ahead and use this highlighter. Boop, boop. That's good, bro. Like, that's good. It's... Look at that glow. Oh my god. Now, of course, very, very pigmented and very strong. So, little goes a really long way. Especially if you're a beginner, you'll be like, oh, what is this? Why so much? But, like, of course, you have to, like, you know, blend it and look at that glow. That's not chunky, dude. Like, it's not chunky at all. It's that beautiful, soft, blended highlighter. I like it. I really like it. Now, last but not the least, I know my blush looks like a lot. It'll dim down in some time. Don't worry. Uh, last but not the least, I have lipsticks. And I have lipsticks from, again, Love Child by Masaba. So, this is their Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade... What is this? Sweet Supreme. Look at that shade. It's pure. I know what I'm using on my lips today. This is it. Next, eye candy. Again, look at that shade. Then we have Mita. <gasps> what are these shades? They are so beautiful, man. And they're like gliding on like butter as well. So these are the three... Uh, shades a liquid matte lipstick this is in the shade take a death this is like a bright red lipstick i'm going to use today i'm anyways a very lipstick kind of girl so i'm going to do this but first i want to line my lips with something bro bro I love, I think this is my new favorite lip combo. Like this liner though has been my favorite since forever. This is the Deborah Milano 24 hour long lasting. And this is in the shade uh, 097. That liner and this lipstick. Beautiful. I love how everything is synchronized. Like this was supposed to like... I thought my eyes will kind of ruin the vibe but like I think that warm in the thing and then the liner kind of suits well that pink everything I'm just glad everything came together everything looks really nice So yes, this is the finished look. Love how everything came together. Let's quickly go through the products I've used and I'll give you my final thoughts. So starting off with the mist, it's a decent mist. I don't see anything exceptional in it. But if you do want to invest in one, which is under 500, which is good, which does not make you break out, then you can definitely invest in this. I say it does not make you break out because it does not have any ingredients, which kind of will tend to break out it's just really like good normal ingredients so um you know you can use this one then the next one we've used is the mac concealer i think so far i'm very impressed by it because like look at my under eye it looks flawless but at the same time there are not uh, much creases now it's been like an hour i've done my makeup right and usually if a concealer has to crease it'll crease by now i've like applied really less powder and set it but still it's like there and it's not moving which i really love um the shade also kind of i think matches because i think it's the oxidizing a little bit so like my under eye does not look like that bright like how it did initially when i applied it so i really like this one i would definitely like you know like to pair this with the original foundation and see as uh, well so the next we've tried the ilana organics blushes and these are rupees 720 each right so like i don't know if they are like i know blushes which are lesser and nicer and more and nicer these are like in between for me like that okayish uh, I love the beet tint like if you want like a good good like tint for your face uh, then you can try the beet tint but like this ones I'm like very like you know in between like they're not bad but they're not like exceptionally uh, great as well at least the one I've used then the next one we have is the strobe cream and this one I absolutely love I think I see myself reaching out to this one a lot more like I told you I have been trying for like good creamy highlighters mix it in like a body lotion and use it on my uh, body lo uh, body 
body load body as well and it'll give me that nice glow from within kind of thing so i really like this one i like that it's a big packaging as well the main big packaging only gave me the idea that i can definitely use this one in you know for body makeup as well and it will not get like over immediately like these little tiny strobe creams get over so quickly so i like that it's a, like a bigger quantity and it's um, 690 only next uh verified blushes and highlighter i actually re do really like both of them blended very beautifully like into the skin nothing uh sitting sitting on the skin the highlighter especially it's so smooth you guys it does not have any chunky glitters or it does not like you know uh, sit on the skin and make it look weird it blends into the skin really beautifully next we, we did eyes and for eyes we use this artist wild animal uh palette the three shades i've used actually performed really well and i have to really try the more brighter ones but for today like i really like that pink and especially this matte one blended so beautifully in the eye you can see like just how seamlessly it blended into uh, my blush and I did not have to make a lot of effort for it like that's what i say like you can kind of blend any eyeshadow you guys but the amount of effort it takes makes the difference of how good a palette is like if it blends like a like one two strokes like amazing you have to like do it like 10 times and it's obviously like you know more bought the sim right but overall like the three shades i've used so i really like i would definitely like you know check out my instagram or something i'll do a look using this palette pretty soon so you can see how the rest of them uh perform next we use this woohoo beauty uh water activated liner i don't i'm not finding the one i just used it's somewhere but this is the um you know other color in it and i think they did a decent job again under 500 i think they have a lot of color options i just have two but they have really like neon greens yellows etc which i'm actually uh, curious to try and they perform really well like look at it it's pigmented it's there it's, it's a nice one it's, it did not go on uh, patchy or it's not cracking in a place so decent uh, liner I, if you're looking for like good like color liners then i would definitely uh, recommend you to try that one it's really nice and lastly for uh, lipsticks i think you know what i think about it already i love it it does transfer a little bit because it is like you know a lipstick you guys like a bullet lipstick but i honestly uh, don't mind i don't mind reapplying my lipstick at all um I, whenever i go to the Costume, I check and I do it whenever I'm going out that's really fine for me I love the shade especially these three like they look stunning there is another shade from them which I got as well which is uh, no ruler and look at that brown you guys like it is a cooled toned proper brown which I really like as well so I'm very excited to see what more um, the brand has in store because so far I really like like the formulation is quite comfortable I love the shades as well thank you so much for like all the dms and comments uh, after I posted the last video where I told like you know I've been struggling with my friend like Mr. Leaving and everything and the, I the messages were so so sweet a lot of you telling that you know you can relate with me that you know same thing has happened to you and all uh, and I'm like, I'm just hoping everybody has like, you know, good faith, like, you know, good friends in life, good, you know, routine, everything and stuff like that. And anyways, this video shout out goes to Harsika P. Thank you, Harsika, for always loving and supporting. It absolutely means the world to me. If you want to be part of next video shout out, then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS and you can be a part. And if you like this video, then make sure like, share and subscribe to my channel. Ring the notification uh, bell. Let me know what more products you want me to try if you have anything in mind and I will try them for sure i'll see you guys in my next video bye, bye.